Good morning. Good morning. I have the privilege to welcome uh, Mrs. Annika Langset from Norway, one of the adjudicators of this first leg of the Grand Slam in Helsinki. And as we speak, it's the Monday, so two days after the competition in the Grand Slam of the Standard section, as we only have available some takes from the solo dancers of these wonderful couples who made the final. Um, and I assume we go into some scores, and as our president said, it's not a problem that judges should have different opinions as long as they can explain them. So, Anita, um, shall we look to the screen? And um, I think the first solo dance was tango, and just show us one of your couples. Your components uh, were uh, technical, technical quality, quality and the partnering skills. <laughs> In fact, your score for the technical quality was 875 mm -hmm. and for the parking skills 9. Mm -hmm. And right. when I look to the other scores, this was the lowest score for technical quality. Compared to the other couples, you mean? Compared yeah. to the other couples. I'm not allowed to compare, nor do you. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to add some uh, comments to uh, your score, it would be most appreciated. Um, I find this man is forcing uh, the movement a lot. Uh, I wish he would work with uh, transfer of weight, um, moving of center. I think he's doing a good job following him. I think he's... Um, I don't like the way he's transferring weight. That really goes for all dances. I think he goes a lot into bent knees. That is center slate. You know, uh, Anita, this is really what I find about the debriefing session. There are so many pros, for and against. Mm -hmm. But now, at least, people know all over the world why you scored an 8.75 and of course we and I will not argue that at all I will respect your opinion that's what we really want to know Thank you for sharing this information with us uh, David um, could you just show one of the other grand finalists Tango? In tango, yes, we'll stick to this dance once again, and maybe we could see the the difference, mm -hmm. exactly what Anita uh, was putting up in her criticism, positive criticism about this couple. Well, then we go to the Russian Federation, Russian in, and you mark this couple, Anita, nine point two five in yes. tango, mm -hmm. and a nine and a half. In the partner skills. In the partner skills. Mm -hmm. and I think 9 to uh, 925 is a very good score. It is. Um, not, not for him, but I think it is a good score. I think he's good. I think he could be a little better with his uh, left side to her. Ah. You see? I think he's turning, yeah, I'm turning away. And a lot of the girls are being pulled in front. Um, I can't, I, it must strain the neck, I can't see anything else and she also look, I think she's doing it again, doing a good job of following him, but she looks strained I think. Um, I don't like so much when we see this uh, too much of the center showing to the left, but he's a very good dancer, they all are, they're very good dancers. Yes. I think this is good that, that we mentioned it once again for all the viewers around the world, that all the criticism is meant to be very positively and that yes. we indeed are very proud of the quality of these of comments. Course. Thank you for these comments. Thank you. And by the way, I agree fully. <laughs> Thank you. So, shall we move to three beats to the bar? 60 bars per minute, 
Okay. Strict tempo for the Viennese Waltz. Mm. <clears throat> for the viewers at home, just enjoy a few seconds of this couple in the end result, the runners up from Lithuania. What is your impression about the development of this couple? You mark them very well. I love the way he's moving. I think they're so well lined up and the easiness of his, uh, of his movement, nearly in all dances, it makes it look so light. And uh, when it looks as easy as this, <coughs> uh, it tells me that they are, the handwork is good. Good feet, uh, good center, girl in balance. Uh, I think also, uh, the Venus wall sometimes now has been a little bit aggressive, I find. And I like what they do with the um, natural movement, how the Venus wall is meant to, to be. Well, we know swinging. the discussions then. <laughs> when we open the syllabus and yes. the offbeat timing. Yes. I know that he... Um, we have a big discussion also among adjudicators that... Uh, <coughs> It's a little difficult to, to judge the winners was because, uh, especially to the reverse turns, it says in uh, our guideline, I know technique books are guidelines, are not gods, but uh, it says that it should be a slight sway to the left on all six steps. Um, we discussed this yeah. weekend already. Yes, huh? yeah. uh, doesn't, he, he sway both ways. And it is the natural way of doing things, and I'm a little curious as to how they ended up with this way to the left. Because um, they say when they wrote the technique that they, would, they looked at all the best couples. I found maybe a handful that are doing uh, this way correct, or correct in accordance with the book. Uh, it seems to me like they want to sway both ways. Uh, some are taking a uh, middle way, yeah. like our champion, that are sort of swaying on the forward step and then are neutral on the back part. But um, I, find, I find the Venus was a little difficult to, to, yeah. well, to time, judge. Time will learn, and as you said, technique books are just tools, no more, yeah. no less. We, when we discuss this, uh, people say, yeah, but I have my own technique. Yeah. But it's very difficult to judge yeah. it. Everybody should have their yeah. own technique. Yeah, but you marked this couple from Lithuania mm. very well indeed. Mm. And it's a natural goer. Yeah, it's a I, love, I love his shoulder easiness line, and their yeah. togetherness. Mm. And I think this is <coughs> one of, uh, a brand for every champion. It looks so easy. Mm. And when it looks easy, yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it's good. And let's go to the champions. Yes. Because they were overall in the score the clear winners. And Tsaikov. Mm -hmm. Can I have a request, Marcel? Venus Waltz? For the Venus Waltz, that will do. So we have a real good comparison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the intro of this music. So yeah, are we going to do a polka or yes. whatever? <laughs> Again, of course, excellent dancers. You marked them such very a high scores. Yes. Yeah. But a little lower than. I thought, uh, by the way, the final was the best round on the, during the competition. For this couple. Yeah. They didn't start off so so well, but I find that in many competitions that they don't turn it on before they have to. <laughs> In a way, but uh, it's a very different style. Also attractive, but in a way much more physical. Uh, sometimes I think he can get a little bit carried away, and I think she's amazing, following everything he's doing. It sometimes it um, her feet suffers a little bit. Her foot action lines are. Because of the movement, I think, and uh, the way she follows him, but she's a very good partner. You can remember the score you gave to this couple? Um, I 
around some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. I don't think it's uh, very much <laughs> wrong with it, other than by him doing a little bit too much sometimes. Over enthusiastic. Well, he has the age for that to do so. Sometimes he's very good. I think he actually danced better in the European than he did on Saturday. But um, still, then again, you see, it a great uh, achievement of great dancers for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But again. I know we shouldn't have meanings or opinions that it should stick to the scores, but somehow it, it, it is an impression. It will always be an impression and an be, opinion. Yeah. And uh, maybe I can't quite put my finger on what was so much better. He was a little more, more quiet and a little more, more positive in uh, Copenhagen. Yeah. Excellent. I wasn't there, so I can make no. uh, yeah, I, I just saw the. Um, you were. The well, the no, well? no, I wasn't yeah. a judge, I just uh -huh. saw uh, videos. Yeah. But it was an excellent final yes. of all the contestants, mm. so let's finally go to some of uh, a, a couple of quick stuff, <coughs> Marcel. Mm. You, you have this system of comparison, we are the golden oldies with all the respect mm. for a beautiful lady like you, but we are trained and used uh, to compare and to rank and we were responsible always for the complete performance mm -hmm. and now you only have to analyze a certain part of the performance of a couple. Um, it is difficult. How is it with the change of mindset? Very difficult. Yeah, still? Uh, uh, no, not still, but it has been a, a process uh -huh. to be able to uh, put comparison behind you. Um, it wasn't easy, but then again, in Norway, we had since uh, 2011, uh, we have this same system for juveniles. We've been uh, only giving them uh, scores. We, we're not allowed to com compare, we're not allowed to give them results. So in a way, we were uh, we trained a little bit, but um, I find technical qualities to get that uh, sub or that criteria in the final is ever so difficult. 12 sub yeah. components is yeah. much. Yes. So I, I sort of, for myself, um, made three groups. So I, I'm very into uh, foot action, good strong feet. You still have lines. the opportunity within these sub components to make your own priorities. Yes, yeah. Well, and first also, of all, uh, also posture. Yeah, That's the first exactly. thing you have. Uh, uh, yeah. I think it's a lot of. Um, a lot of men that falls a little bit back and turns a little bit away and it's ever so difficult with these huge positions that the girls is going to have, I think. So I want backs up and I want good foot lines and um, I really uh, like a good drive action with a swing and a release of swing. The British I style see. combined with the modern mm -hmm. I uh, love it. I love it. I really do. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. Um, finally. Another couple, some of the other finalists. Some of you is at home. We conclude this uh, debriefing session with Mrs. Anita Langset with a quick step, and we go to the Russian Federation. What is your impression about this couple in technical quality? I, I like this boy a lot. Uh, I like his approach to, to dancing. Uh, I think I gave him mine in both uh, technical quality and partnering skills. I think she's trying very hard to follow him. I think her feet could be improved <laughs> quite a lot. And uh, I, I marked him quite good uh, earlier in the day. Uh, on uh, movement to music and choreography presentation, but when it came to technical quality in the final, like, it couldn't be higher than mine for me. That's why I always say to some of the viewers at home, just only look at the feet and the ankles. Mm -hmm. Beautiful feet is um, yeah. high criteria. But, but then again, doing... I, I think this is one of the common the couples uh, with a nice bright future ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, I like his approach to his dancing. And he also got a nice moving back. Anita, as you are a, 
a very experienced adjudicator. You dance your complete life with Erling at a very, very high level. Um, you judge all the worlds, I think, over the past decades. Um, now we have this absolute judging system. We had a 1.0, we went to 2, 2.1, now we have 3. And I know already that people are thinking about some minus alteration because mm -hmm. the system will improve. That's normal all the time. Do you have, with all your experience, and this will be my last question, any suggestion how to improve the system? I don't think it is possible with absolute judging system uh, as we have it now. I, I think it must really be within uh, every group of dancers, uh, adults, youth, you know. Because I think uh, the adjudicators want to mark the winners, give them a good high score. And uh, we see, especially in youth competitions, it's not, uh, they give them high score. They don't give them absolute judgment system score. Are you referring now to what happened in Japan uh, last uh, week, for example? No, that, that, no. I, I, now I was referring to the Youth uh, World Championship before uh -huh. Christmas. Um, and then we see both in, in uh, youth actually and like in PD, for instance, where they, it can be very good couples and not so very good couples. And like uh, uh, around 24 round when you start scoring, uh, it is very uh, easily that um, you get three points difference, maybe three and a half, four points difference between the best and the um, not so good couples. And then you delete it. Yeah. So if For you the viewers at home, then the score will be deleted. Because there no. is 1.5 you have to... Yeah. Um, be within the range. I think that range is uh, not you, working. You talked about the 24. Um, mm. I had a suggestion that this system only should be used in the finals yeah. of the championships. Mm. Would you that might favor be a good that idea, idea yes. as well? Yes, also because uh, to score, even if you have six couples on the floor, which is not so many, it is uh, it is a lot of work to do <laughs> to it give is. them scores. Yeah. Like uh, mm. our colleague Bolo Jensen said, thanks mm. to my fast experience, yes. I'm yes. able to rely on my instinct as well. That well, is definitely. Yeah. Well, I, I hope yeah. uh, the viewers at home um, definitely w will have enjoyed this session. You have been very honest uh, with positive uh, criticism why you gave, for example, a couple the lowest score. Mm. Everybody will understand it. And I would like to thank you very much. I give my best regards to your husband, Erling, and I thank say hope to see you soon, somewhere, somewhere. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very Anita. much. Thank you.